1863, General Hooker set up his troops at a tavern in dense woods in Chancellorsville. He hoped this would make the small, unprepared Confederates disorganized. While the Union was doing this, General Robert E. Lee was splitting his troops further. Okay, you go that way. On May 2, 1863, General Stonewall Jackson took the other part of the Confederate troops across the Union line to get behind them. Jackson's men struck two hours before dusk. The Confederate line became confused and at 9 p.m. had to stop to regroup. While riding in front of his troops, Stonewall Jackson was shot accidentally by one of his own men and seriously injured. Later that night, his left arm was amputated. On May 3, 1863, Jackson's successor, Jeb Stewart, started the bloodiest day of the battle while attempting to reunite his troops with General Lee. Despite the persistent defense of the Union, Hooker ordered a withdrawal north of the Chancellor House. While getting ready to finish off the Union troops, a message came that the Union troops had broken through at Fredericksburg. At Salem Church, General Lee barricaded these Union troops and forced them to retreat. After returning to Chancellorsville, Lee found that Hawk had retreated across the river. This is one of Lee's greatest During this battle, a total of 31,000 lives were lost, 14,000 Confederates, and 17,000 Union. But the worst death for the Confederates will be on May 10, 1863 when General Stonewall Jackson died of pneumonia while recovering from his wounds.